Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Real United States and welcome to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the city of brotherly love. We're here next to the Philadelphia Art Museum in downtown Philly and we're here in front of this world famous statue of, wait a minute, what? What's that? Wrong statue? What do you mean wrong statue? Okay, folks, my bad. This is actually the statue we wanted. This is a statue of the pugilist. This is a statue which ostensibly is supposed to be Rocky Balboa because it was put here inspired by the movie Rocky, which was filmed in 1976, largely right here in Philadelphia. Now, originally this statue was over here in front of the museum it's since been moved here on the side of the museum. It has its own walkway and pedestal and everything now. And we're going to take you over and we're going to show you some of the front of the museum where the movie was filmed. But I thought before we got there that I would show you this beautiful, larger than life statue of the pugilist, Rocky Balboa. So go ahead and let's walk over. We're going to show you the famous scene that was shot on the steps of the Philadelphia Art Museum. It was a scene that was about overcoming adversity, rising up from the bottom, overcoming whatever obstacles are put in your way. And to sort of show that on film, what the director decided to do in the one of the peak scenes of the movie was to have Rocky run across town and then run up the 72 steps of the Philadelphia Art Museum. Now they are a lot larger in real life than they look on the movie. So it's become sort of an iconic symbol here in the United States of triumph. And people come from all over the country, indeed all over the world, to run up these 72 steps in front of the Philadelphia Art Museum. At the very top, in the ground, there is a bronze set of footprints where Rocky stood at the pinnacle of this scene. And people love to go run up there, wave their arms. And it, again, it's become an iconic thing. In fact, these steps have since been renamed, I guess, if, if not formally, then certainly informally here in the United States as the Rocky Steps. Now, prior to the filming of the movie, an inventor by the name of Garrett Brown was working on a brand new piece of movie making technology that would allow people to, to kind of fly a camera through a scene without using a dolly or a jib crane. And it's called the Steadicam. Well, Garrett Brown and his, at the time, fiance came here with this new invention and she sprinted up these steps and back down as he chased her along and managed to maintain a perfectly stable camera shot and then took this footage out to California to try and sell this new invention which was picked up immediately and one of the first if not the very first movies that it was used in was Rocky <coughs> and to hear Mr. Brown tell the story when they saw it they not only wanted it but the first thing they wanted to know is where are those steps because they wanted to use that in the movie Rocky while it was still in production. Now, if any of you think I'm going to sprint up those 72 stairs at my age and condition, you are sadly mistaken. We will, however, gradually crawl up there and I'll try to show you the, the footprints at the top. Well, I didn't exactly sprint up the steps like most uh, younger folks do, but we are up here at the top of the rocky steps in front of the Philadelphia Art Museum. Sure enough, there are the bronze footprints of Rocky Balboa embedded right there in granite here at the top of the, of the steps. You see the beautiful scenery behind me of the downtown Philadelphia. Just a really gorgeous, gorgeous setting. 
So I'm so glad we were able to come here and, and share this little bit of cinemagraphic history with you. I'd like to thank you for joining us here on The Real United States. If you haven't already, I encourage you to pick subscribe and come along for the adventure. If you've got questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. I love hearing from all of you. I try to get back to everyone that I can. And as always, thank you for watching.